now that we sign our voltage polarities and current directions now we're going to analyze the circuit using our element constraints and our KVL KCL equations so here we have V1 equals I1 times 100 ohms we have V2 is equal to the 50 ohm resistor times I2 and we have V3 is equal to I3 times the 200 ohms, so 200 times I3. Now we're going to do the KCL equations at node A, node B, and node C. So the incoming current going into node A is 2 amps. The outgoing current is equal to 3 amps times I1. I mean plus I1. Therefore, I1 is equal to minus 1 amps. So that implies that V1, I1 is minus 1 times 100, so that's one minus 100 volts. Now at node B, we have the incoming current of I1, which we know is one, minus 1 amps, and our outgoing is I2 plus I3. We'll take a look at node C now. Our incoming current is 3 amps plus I3 shown here. And then our outgoing is that's equal to 5 amps. So therefore I3 is equal to 5 amps minus 3 amps is equal to 2 amps. So that's I3. Hence, what we have next is now we can calculate the voltages across V2 and V3. So we have V2 is equal to I2 times 50 ohms, but we saw that I2 can be calculated as follows. I2 is equal to I1 minus I3. We see that I1 is equal to minus 1 amp and that I3 is equal to 2 amps. So I1 minus 2 amps, so we have I3 as negative 3 amps. right here. So V2 now is equal to 50 times 2 amp, I mean minus 3. So 50 times minus 3 is equal to minus 150 volts. Now we have V3. The current going through V3 is 2 amps. So now we have V3 of 200 ohms times 2 amps or 400 volts. Next we need to find the voltage across VA uh, current sources VA, VB, and VC. So we'll write loop equations. So for loop 1 we have the following KVL and for loop 3. So for we'll start right here so that would be a plus VA plus V1 plus V2 and we have VA is equal to minus V1 minus V2 but we know what that is. We know that it's minus 100 volts for V1 and minus 150 volts for V2. So this is minus 250 volts across 
this 2 amp current source. For loop 2, we'll start it here. So it's plus VB minus V3 as we go around here and minus V1. So VB is equal to V1 plus V3. V1 is minus 100 volts and V3 is equal to plus 400 volts so the voltage across VB is 300 volts. And then finally the voltage across the 5 amp or VC is, we'll start right here, so minus V2 plus V3 plus VC, solving for VC is equal to plus V2 minus V3. So we know what V2 is, it's equal to minus one hundred minus minus one hundred fifty volts minus four hundred volts for V three since it's minus V three and therefore it's minus five hundred and fifty volts. So now we know what the voltage is across the 2 amp, 3 amp, and 5 amp current sources and they're respectively minus 250 volts, 300 volts, and minus 550 volts. And that completes finding the voltages and currents for this circuit.